Anthony James Spicola was born in Trinidad, Colorado on July 24, 1937. Tony's first foray into the industry was a job created for him as equipment manager for the marching band at Trinidad High School. He also embraced what became a second passion in his life, photography. Not only did Tony gain a successful reputation as a photographer, he helped regional bands with promotional packs and marketing materials. His pictures of custom cars garnered him national attention, including covers for Hot Rod magazine. While he promoted local bands and concerts at different venues, Tony decided to open a nightlife college club, the Fantastic Zoo, and later, Pinocchio's in Pueblo, Colorado. Tony also created ties with radio stations around Southern Colorado, and before long, he was hosting and promoting concerts with national and international acts at larger venues. By 1963, Tony brought The Rascals, Ike and Tina Turner, Bob Seger, and a host of name bands that later formed the core of the famed British Invasion. He needed venues large enough to accommodate the sellout crowds that popular headliners drew, so he turned to the Colorado Springs area venues. In the 60s, we all had an affair with music, Tony said, noting that in addition to being the first promoter to bring the Who to Colorado, such 60s icons as Jefferson Airplane, ZZ Top, and Fleetwood Mac were brought to Colorado through his efforts. 20 of those acts are now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. During his days as a promoter, Tony developed a relationship with various radio stations buying advertising, eventually going to work in sales at KDZA. After a decade with KDZA, Tony was able to earn his way into a position to buy the station which he did. And in 1979, and for the next seven years, Tony was holding down two jobs, concert promoter and radio station mogul. Between 1970 and 1986, Tony moved his shows to the area's larger venues like the Colorado Springs Penrose Stadium at the Broadmoor, Albuquerque Civic Auditorium, and various college sites, including Folsom Field at Boulder. By 1986, Tony sold the radio stations and the major act concert business had outgrown most of the facilities available to him. Shortly after promoting an Everly Brothers show at Penrose Stadium, Tony married his wife Karen at the Broadmoor. His two children, Gina and Joel, were growing up and the family became his focus. Since that time, for most of the next 33 years, he helped market the Spradley Bar auto sales empire with dealerships in Fort Collins, Greeley, Cheyenne, and Pueblo. Promoters as varied as Barry Fay and Chuck Morris both identify Tony Spicola as Colorado's first rock concert promoter. And it is with that in mind that the Colorado Music Hall of Fame, presented by Comfort Dental, is proud to present Tony with the Barry Fay Visionary Award and also induct him into the Colorado Music Hall of Fame as part of the Going Back to Colorado class of 2019.